So um, smooth and rough can add in different, you know, like it, this one's got more of a linear thing to it where like it's not going to be the full range that they're, they're kind of capped. Um, so there's a bunch of different options for tweening in here too. So it'd be, it's good to go get familiar with all of them and what they all do uh, because they all have a little bit of a different operation. Some of them are going to be full on tweens where you have major control. Some are going to be a little bit more granular. Um, and then some of them we have, I think is even the, uh, the time offset, which is uh, going to give us a bit of a different. So that's going to be if you have time offset, I think enabled in here. And so that's, uh, so let's say, uh, for instance, how do we do the time offset? We, you can do it when on the attached tracks, but you can also do it, uh, say like on the animation here. So we have, uh, and if you go, if you right click on the animation, you go up to the properties, there's a lot of options inside of here, right? Where you've got uh, playback and offset and all that stuff. So let's say you wanted to play this at a uh, different play rate, you can choose now, uh, instead of just saying a, a fixed play of like, we're gonna play this animation at 100% animation, regular speed, or you can cut it in half. Now you can actually animate the rate that you're playing the animation at. So I don't know if that makes sense, but let's take a look at it, right? So we're gonna do a play rate curve. And so we can do a play rate now in here, so we can be at 100% at 50, you know, the first half of this animation, and then I can set a keyframe. And then for the second half of the animation, we want to drop down to say 40%. And now so that you've got a time warp on here. So you can time warp animation that's been recorded without having to do any, like previously, if you wanted to do something like that, you would need to like add a control rig, do some offset keys to it, bake it out again, add in the new animation track. So like this actually takes five or six steps and puts it into one little keyframe, which is 